this morning we've woken up by the coastline here on the Black Sea. Well, we had a fabulous day yesterday, uh, eating the pea day and going up into the mountain to hear the villagers whistling to each other. How cool was that? We, we had a good night's sleep. We, uh, we slept here in the car park that you can see behind us and right next to the sea. Beautiful sunny day, which is really good because we have run out of electric again. All the fans went <laughs> off in the middle of the night and it got a little bit warm. Um, so yeah, we're having a few power problems, mainly because it's been quite cloudy over the last few days and uh, the solar obviously doesn't work so well then. Plus we haven't been driving so far and we've been charging everything up because we've been filming and editing and everything else. So today the plan is that we're going to head down the coast to the town of Girison uh, on the Black Sea, famous for hazelnuts, but more on that a little bit later. And uh, the weather forecast for the next few days is sunny, so we're going to film as much as we can for you guys uh, over the next few days. And before we head off, we're just having a quick coffee and uh, just enjoying this wonderful view here in Turkey. We're Marianne and Chris. In May 2018, we quit the 9 to 5, rented our house to travel full time. Due to the pandemic, our attempt to drive around the world has been put on pause. Finding ourselves in Turkey, we are going to show you the best this country has to offer. Right, so we're all packed up and off to Girison. Marianne's got her new headscarf on, love. Thank Look. you, Melek, for my birthday present. She's looking very local, Melek. <laughs> We couldn't resist just pulling over and just having a look out the window. Look how lovely this is. The sea is beautiful. The sun is shining. There's people on the beach. Loving the Black Sea. So we're just arriving in Girison and you can already see all the hazelnuts being dried by the side of the road. We're in Girison. Woohoo! <laughs> so we're about, Girison is located about a hundred miles west of Trabzon. You can see the city over the road behind me. You can probably hear that it's pretty windy here today and uh, we found this little car park here so we got Trudy all parked up. We're gonna stop the night here just looking over to the sea and there's uh, there's lots of restaurants and all these bean bags here. I did wonder uh, what they were but they're actually bean bags with little tables so I'm sure that in the evening this place will come alive. And again, magnificent views all the way over the Black Sea with the sun shining. So I think the plan is we're going to head um, across into town and uh, have a little look around, see if we can find um, something for lunch and just show you a little bit what this uh, city is actually like. So I'm excited. I'm very excited. Everybody told us we had to stop in Girison. Yeah. yeah. So we are listening to you. 
In fact, for all of those of you who message and say you have to go here or you have to go there um, or come and see us, we'd love to say hi. We love getting um, messages from you guys and we love you guys reaching out. But the reality is we have so many messages and so many kind offers from you guys that it is actually impossible for us to come and see all of you. So follow us on Polar Steps, reach out to us if you see that we are nearby or come uh, pop by and say hi. But um, yeah, unfortunately we can't get to all of you. So please forgive us if we don't see you uh, on our travels. We're just walking along and I saw this cat and I thought, like seriously, that cat is really overweight, but it's actually a statue. <laughs> How funny is that? There's a, there's a big main road between us and the town, but luckily there's this bridge uh, to go over. And look at this, you know, all the stray dogs, well, they're not actually stray dogs, they're community dogs. They have all these little, look at this little feeding station with dog food in for the dogs. And, the cats, and cats. We're just crossing over the bridge and uh, you can see this aerial view of where we're staying with all the little restaurants and you can just about see Trudy parked up in the trees over there. But we're heading that way, which we think is the main sort of town area. So we're walking along and check out all these hazelnuts that are drying in the sun here. Absolutely amazing. Super! Oh, I've never seen so many nuts. Bags Look, bags we're bags just walking down the road and this warehouse here is full of nuts. Look, nuts everywhere. Girison is famous for nuts. Yeah, Findy. Wow. So I'm going up, oh, I'm walking the plank on the nuts. Yeah, Look at this. Going, saying, Look at that. Hold on, I'm going to take a picture of you. Look at this. Nuts about I've nuts. just walked this plank and I'm on the nuts. So they're having locals bring the bags of nuts in and they're weighing them in. There you go, and you've got the scales up there. Superb. We, uh, we saw in the mountain region here around um, Girison that there was loads of hazelnut trees and this area of Turkey is famous for hazelnuts and in fact uh, they actually supply all of the nuts or most of the nuts to companies like Nutella and things like that. <laughs> Absolutely superb. Teşekkürler. <laughs> Teşekkürler. We've only been walking two minutes and we've already found something interesting to film already. Oh, fresh fish. Have a... I'm stood on one of the main pedestrian streets here in Girison and there is shopping galore. There is shopping everywhere. All the way back there and all the way back there, there is shopping. You can buy everything you want. But one thing I do want to go and find is food because I am absolutely starving and there seems to be food everywhere. So we've come down to an area where they've got a pedestrian street here and obviously lots of food to be had. And uh, look, you can see local breads all in the windows here. I'm actually pretty hungry, so we're going to go and see if we can find some nice food for lunch. The 
There's so much choice. <laughs> There's so many places to choose from. Look at all these restaurants as we're going down here. What do you fancy, love? Oh, oh it's so it good. It's coming from all the shops. Ah! <laughs> so much food. We actually look for places that don't have music or sound uh, so that we can talk whilst we eat. <laughs> but we got drilling. <laughs> There's no music. There's no copyright issues. So we've come down to this little place called Bam Bam, down on the pedestrian area. Cheers. So we've got a couple of pide and a couple of lemonade. Lunchtime Scooby snack, Turkish style. Nice, right? Mm. It's comfort food. Yeah, we'll sit down. We can sit down. So we've come down to Mustafa Qatar eatery here, and they sell really delicious local sweets, puddings made from hazelnuts, and uh, we're really super excited to try these. We've got two different types and some local ice cream. You gonna give it a go? Absolutely. There you go. And it's known as hazelnut pasta uh, because it's like a dough, a flour, and it's created into like thin strips and baked with hazelnuts on top. Um, and the other one is hazelnut pudding. Um, and then we've got ice cream on the top with little ground bits of hazelnut. So it's a whole hazelnut thing. <laughs> if you're allergic to nuts, do not come here. Okay, let's give it a go. So which one are you trying first? I'm the ice cream. The ice cream and the um, pasta, the um, hazelnut pasta. Mmm. Sweet, sweet, nutty, noodly pudding. It's delicious. There you go. This famous pudding of Girasun is known as Kadif, which literally translates as a pasta nutty dish. Okay, I have the secret recipe. It's a phyllo pastry dough, sugar, water, lemon juice, and hazelnuts. Okay, so I'm trying the hazelnut pudding. Mm. It's just sweet hazelnutty with a hint of honey. Really worth coming down here. We heard about this place on TripAdvisor and it was ranked so highly we thought we parked just down the road, we have to come and give it a go. And it was really well worth it. They've been making puddings here since the 40s and uh, any business that survives that long does so for a reason. And uh, it's absolutely delicious. So you're gonna have to excuse me because I'm gonna eat all of this lovely pudding. Okay, so we, we are parked here in Girison and all of these young local guys just walked past the van and they saw the YouTube channel and they were like, we want to be on your channel. Superb. Good morning. We have woken up here in the Turkish coastal town of Girison and today we are heading down the coast to the town of Ordu. We had a good night's sleep here and uh, it was surprisingly busy last night actually but by sort of 10, 11 o'clock it all went nice and peaceful. The sun is shining again for us today. The forecast is actually in the next few days it's going to start being a bit more grey and a bit more wet so we're keen to get as much filming as we can while the weather is good. Marianne's just doing her chores, getting the van ready. What are you doing love? Brushing the rug. <laughs> 
We don't have a hoover, so everything is done by brush or by damp cloth. There you go. Um, and we're low on electric, so if we had a hoover, we'd be in real trouble. We have. The sun is the sun is shining on the panels, and uh, I got the little solar lantern charging on the roof there. Every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've arrived just down the coast, about 15 minutes, and we're going to meet up with a, um, a follower who reached out to us called Gearhan. We, uh, we met up with him briefly yesterday and he gave us loads of advice. So we said we would meet him again for coffee this morning on the way to Ordu. Good morning. Good night. Is it okay here? Yeah, it is okay. Okay, I'll get my mask, my phone. And have you got the internet, baby? No, but I can grab the internet. Beautiful. Good morning. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Very good, you? Hi. Oh, breathe in. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Okay. We've arrived in the town of Balanjak uh, to meet Guhan and uh, check out some places and uh, locations to visit on our way through to Urdu. Now we were talking to him about the name of the region and uh, historically the name um, of Gurusan, uh, the whole region was known as Sarasis which is where the name and the word cherry comes from. You'll know in um, the Italian and the French word and the English with cherry and silis, it all comes from terrasas because that is where the cherry came from. And that is why it's on this side because it's a massively important part of the produce of this region. And that is the Turkish name for cherry, isn't it? Sarasas? Yes. yes. Yeah. No, Kiras. 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 Yeah, that means cherry. Yes. cherry. There you go. Kirasis means cherry. So we've come down onto the pier here in the town. And apparently it used to be Turkey's longest pier. Is it that was. right? It yes, was. it was. There you go. But it is no more. But it's still a lovely pier. Yeah. And uh, wow, it is actually pretty long, isn't it? Nice views over the sea. And then I think we're gonna go and have a cup of coffee or tea in the little cafe here on the way back. So at the end of the pier, there's a uh, fishermen, a few fishermen catching their fish. And uh, apparently at night, in the evenings, this place is transformed with loads of people coming out to catch their fish. What a lovely spot. So the pier is actually 260 meters long. It used to be 300 meters here until they built the road. So it didn't take long and the local town newspaper reporter has come down to see us on the pier and they're interested in our story. So we're just going with them. He's just there with his bicycle to uh, take a little picture of us with Trudy. Because Trudy's really quite famous now. <laughs> Trudy is the famous one, <laughs> not us. Celebrity fan! <laughs> there you go. Time for tea. Nice! We can sit by the sea. Okay, breakfast time. <laughs> so we've just had a lovely little breakfast and we're actually now going to go and uh, walk to find some hazelnuts. And we're coming down an underpass, just a subway under the road here. And it's just, look how it's decorated. They've got all these old pictures all the way along the walls. And look at this stonework. Baby, look. Have you ever seen an underpass? Look. That looks like this? Look. Oh, and they've actually got little windows and doors for the, and they're all illuminated with all these little pictures. This is lovely. I've never seen an underpass wow, look like look that. Like look, with all the little pictures. That is very cool. That 
is very cool. And the subway literally comes out in the middle road. That's where we came out. And then we're in the middle of the road and it just comes to an end. And we're in the middle of a junction. So we have to cross the road because we're going over there. Wow. Oh, oh smell. smell that. We've come into a shop that sells lots of hazelnut products and it smells so good as soon as you walk in. We get nuts. a little sample nut. Thank you. De chocolate. Mm. How can you not like hazelnuts, right? So they got peeled nuts, different size nuts, paste, more nuts, powder, big bags of nuts. In fact, when we were eating um, some of the local dishes, we've noticed that um, the powder, the, the crushed hazelnuts, you find. So for example, when we had a pudding with some ice cream, they put some crushed nut nuts on it. And also hummus, hot hummus with broken oh, nuts. That, yeah. And it just enhances the flavor, makes something completely lovely and escalates it. So um, I'm gonna get this one because we'll this, try it in the van. this looks like peanut brittle, which we have in the UK, but in Maybe smaller with hazelnuts. Chunks, but with hazelnuts, local hazelnuts. Yeah, we'll try that in the van with the coffee yeah, later. Fresh. And the gentleman here has very kindly um, got me a sample of their hazelnut paste. We were hearing that the products on the shelf will be cleared within two to three days and restocked with fresh produce. So they're constantly making new stuff. Hazelnut paste. This is hazelnut paste. Is it going to be like peanut butter? Who knows? <laughs> oh, that's good. It's the middle of a Ferrero Rocher. Oh, that's exactly what it tastes like. It's liquid <laughs> Ferrero Rocher. It is, isn't it? Mm. It's so lovely to see family run businesses. And this gentleman's been running this business for 40 years and is now passing the business on to his son. Order. Oh, made in Ordu, which is where we're going. Oh, they're making cookies. Oh, wow. Thank you. Look, we got little cookies. They are. The ladies just cooked them. Hold on, I'm going to just dive straight in there. And I've got a free wasp who wants to join in too. Mmm. <laughs> it's got dried oh. grape inside. Is it's it really sweet? Sweet and lovely. Go I've got to be honest, we've all been looking at these cookies <laughs> since they came out of the oven. And we've all been like this. And Chris is like, don't touch them. I haven't filmed them. <laughs> and we've been here, haven't we? Like, just let me have the cookies. I think one's gone missing. <laughs> <laughs> We've shown these on previous videos, but they have these pretend police cars with officers and flashing lights to make the car slow down. How cool is that? Guru Shirus. Guru Shirus. Thank you very much for your time. You are welcome. And when you come back again, please contact with me again. Oh, we will for sure. Thank you. Elbow pump. Yay! Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right, off to Ordu. Off to Ordu! Woo! <laughs> and uh, again, magnificent blue blues cut. Are you hungry? I might have a little yeah, something a little actually. Hungry. We didn't but have. You're not buying us. No, you're not buying us breakfast. So no, no, no. You can buy us. <laughs> No, no, no! Okay, okay. Let's do it. Have you seen the spare GoPro batteries? Um, yeah, I think they're in the day bag. Oh, you're still there. That's it. It is the end of the show. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you click the subscribe button below and hit the bell notification and we will see you next time. Bye for now.